Hello everybody, Joe Tactical here again, and I'm going to do another cast iron cooking video. Uh, no way, shape, or form am I an expert, I'm not military, I'm not law enforcement, but I just make videos mainly to share with others and uh, maybe get a brainstorming ideas thrown back and forth so that we, we can all individually have more knowledge about our interests, okay? Um, I have a couple steaks here. Now, I'm not a steak person. But um, I have a couple steaks in here marinating for uh, about 48 hours. I also have some chopped up green peppers and onions in here. Now I won't add these until I flip the steaks. Now I am not, like I said, I'm not an expert and I'm not a steak person. Okay, so I really don't know the best choices of steak and everything else. But I'm just going to share with you what I have going on. And these are um, peppered and have some A1 sauce. And like I said, they've been sitting for a couple days. Now this is the first time I'm cooking on the rib side of this griddle pan. So this is all an experiment, 100%. Hopefully it doesn't come out too bad and I can eat these things. Hold on a second, got to wash my hands after handling raw meat. Gotta be an exciting video. Sarcastically speaking, of course. And if you bear with me for just a second, I'm gonna uh, grab the tongs real quick. Now this won't be the final flip for these things. Hopefully it's not sticking too bad. I'm just doing these mainly to sear the meat. They're sticking a little bit. Still breaking in this pan. And uh, something else I've been working with with cast iron, I've been going through a huge amount, a huge amount of paper towels, okay? Um, not really a fan of being wasteful like that. Not that it's wasteful, you're using them for the intended purpose. But uh, I switched up to Terry towels. I went to Home Depot and got a pack of 24 for $11. And that way I can take these Terry towels and I can just throw them in the wash little bit of bleach and wash them out. If they come out stained, if they don't totally come out clean because of the grease and the grime from the cast iron, I don't care. I know they're clean, sanitary, and I can continually use them. Just an idea. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that, but trying it out. You know, life's, life's about experimentation and uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of that. <laughs> Speaking of experimenting. Probably shouldn't have put too much on there, but I'm just trying to and add just a little bit of this. Now they were marinating in this sauce. And this is the generic version of A1, but same thing pretty much. A little bit more. And 
it's mischief night about 1.30. I gotta, here's some uh, fake me out Worcestershire sauce. And uh, I got some cameras over the cars just in case some, uh, some kids trying to do some trickery or something like that. So let me pepper these a little bit. chili powder. Just a little bit. Let's see how we're doing here. Now as I said before in other videos, since the burner is here and here this is kind of a colder part but I like that because though taking it takes some getting used to uh, you can definitely find that if for example you didn't want to turn the heat down and you had the steak down here you just pull it this way and it'll be a little bit uh, cooler If it looks like I'm trying to tenderize it, I'm not. I'm just trying to spread around the sauce a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. And again, this is all an experiment. So if I'm doing something way wrong, please, by all means, you know, let me know. Not an expert. Let me put some vegetables on there to start flavoring it a little bit. Now I'm going to put more on, but uh, I'm just trying to get these things going. I don't know how long it's going to take, but whenever I do, uh, I'll probably flip to the other side and then flip to this side again one more time. But I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Cast iron cooking is completely different. It really is. It retains heat different. Um, just everything really about it is different. Other than it's a hot surface you put food on. That looks pretty good. I'm a fan. Make sure they're not sticking. Oh yeah. Now, when I went to buy these steaks, you gotta understand, see, I'm a cheeseburger kind of guy. You know, if I go to a restaurant or something, I like a good cheeseburger, like a, a, a Texas cheeseburger, or, you know, a, a Philly cheesesteak cheeseburger, or, you know, some type, like a Swiss mushroom burger, or something like that. I'm not a steak guy at all, so I'm like standing in the meat aisle in the grocery store, and I'm like, I don't know what steak's good or what. I mean, I got, I got some that... You know, these two steaks here, I think, were either 10 or 12 bucks for the pair of them. And uh, I was like, all right, well, that's about the medium price as everything's going for here, so I'll get them. Hopefully, it ain't too tough and everything. It didn't look too bad, but again, I don't know steaks. I think we're going to have to get the knife out soon and see where we stand with this. Actually, you know what? Knock all these guys out of the way. Still keep them around for flavoring. Oh yeah. And tongs are the way to go, let me just tell you.
Just making it up as I go along. <laughs> Yeah, man. There you go. That's how we do it there. And that's uh, a whole onion. I think it's a whole onion. A whole onion, a whole green pepper, with the exception of when I cut up the green pepper, I take a couple of those slivers and eat them. Let's see, get these a little slide. A little bit more pepper. And uh, the infamous Tabasco sauce. <laughs> and you ain't cooking unless you're making a mess. Let me just tell you that right now. Now I ain't going for like real spicy with this. I just want a little bit of flavor in there. And if I'm not doing anything right or whatever and you see I'm doing something wrong, it's okay if I'm doing something wrong. All right, let's see. Let's get a blade and see what we can see here. Hopefully these bad boys are done. What do you think? Cut into that one? Uh, I think that one's going to be the, uh, the test subject here. Oh, yeah. Still just a little bit of pink inside. Just want to let it go a little bit more. It's pretty tough. It's not really uh, as tender as I would like. Oh boy. Oh, you're not going anywhere. It's not as tender as I would like. But, uh... I'll get it done, that's for sure. And I'm probably, since these things are really big, I just want to make sure where we stand as far as the, if they're done correctly. Now what I'm doing is, <coughs> a little smoky. What I did was I cut them in half, and then I slid them to right over the burners. That way they cook a little bit more. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but... got just a little bit of pink in there. I would be okay with that, but my girlfriend really doesn't like it like that. So. And I don't like to have to try to like make a couple one way and a couple other way, and I don't really mind it, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> and for those that might know better, you're probably looking at me like, what the heck is this guy doing, right? It'll be alright. Yeah, man. Throw those on there. Get some onions. And it's whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect. things are hard to grab thank you very much for watching I'm not ending the video but I just gotta tell you I, I hope this isn't too boring <coughs> I was gonna do this outside on an open fire but figures the weekend that I want to do it it snows I'm over here on the mid east coast and uh, we had our first snowfall so like 
everything's all wet and it's been raining on and off today and yesterday and it just totally ruined the whole thing I was gonna cook out on the campfire that's why I got these I also made chili too and uh, I did that in the crock pot but I browned the burger in the cast iron and uh, that worked out well but there it is that's pretty much done it's dripping a little bit but like I said you ain't cooking if you ain't making a mess thank you very much for watching Bon Appetit, Joe Tactical out.